Welcome to Backstage Pass, this is stage 7 of the uh, Giro d'Italia. Longest stage of the Giro, 264 k today, so uh, we're all uh, fueling up for a long day in the saddle. Yeah, I went through my Twitter feed, uh, asked a question the other day about well, any questions to be asked Peter's way, the wean dog. And uh, one of the ones was, uh, yeah, Peter, what, what's the go with your hair, the hair gel? Oh, at the moment I use uh, the spiky one. The spiky from uh, from the Dutch brand Kruidvat, that's the best. And uh, is, is that a sponsor? Do you have a sponsorship from them? Yeah, we tried to get uh, also the shampoo, I uh, tried to get on board from, from this other cycling team, but yeah, uh, it's a. Uh, the stuff that thickens your hair. Yeah, I actually are <laughs> starting to need that. <laughs> Same like you, so. <laughs> um, Wing Dog, last year in the Giro was snowing. This year it's been a pretty, pretty warm first week. What's your take on, um, on global warming? Oh, that's a difficult question, huh? It's maybe, uh, maybe don't think about it because we cannot stop it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> 264 kilometers, a long day, um, so even though it looks pretty flat, there's going to be some tired boys at the end after what's already been some hard days racing. And here we are, at long last. Our breakaway is on your screen. Marco Bandiera, again, sucker for punishment, especially going for a day as long as this one. Um, it looks like it is going to be Simon Gerrans for Orchid Greenwich today. Um, well, Matthew's there in the background, you can't see him hold. Uh, or was that Chavez? Yeah, I hope you're right. Link is going to be there, deliver you into the last uh, 500 metres. Like, like exactly like we spoke this morning in the in the meeting. It's a big day for you, Bling. It's a big day for you, Bling. I know you've got an upset tummy, but stomach. But uh, we need everyone in this final night. Every single one of you. Hold the world. Look at the grimace on the face of the German. Remember, he's in the red jersey. He's currently wearing the points leaders jersey in this race. Lampre coming up as well, looks as though Sasha Modolo survives. So at the minute, as it stands, unless there are late attacks, it will be a sprint of sorts. Orica Green Edge, well placed. Go wing dog. Lampre through the middle, Gerrans trying to find the right wheel as Michael Matthews' job is done with 300 metres to go. Come on, Gero. Modolo looking to launch it, Gavazzi is there as well for South East, as is Belletti it seems, through the middle and here we go. Fellini on the left hand side, on the right though it's Moby starts, Modolo there who has the strength, Modolo coming through the centre and Lampre will take the win. Third. Third or second. Good luck. Awesome ride boys. Awesome. Seven hours, 20 minutes. Hello? Seven hours? Seven hours, 20 minutes. Never in my life. First time. Yeah? Yeah. Seven hours, 35. It's 170. Yeah. Apart from when it hit me, you got me lost in the mountains one day, I was training, but other than that. Longest, longest stage of any Grand Tour I can remember for a very, very long time. Uh, today was a classic. Classic distance, uh, more than seven hours on the bike today. A long day for everyone involved, and in the end we had a very, very satisfying result with Gero. Uh, it's the first opportunity you've had this year to really target a result for yourself. Uh, incredible ride, mate. It shows you that you're on the way back. It's really good. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it's the first time I've actually really gone for the win myself this year, so to be around the mark's good. It's a little disappointing I didn't get the win, because uh, that's what we're really going for, but um, yeah, the guys were great in the final to have so many guys left there at the end of such a long, long day. I think it's probably one of my longest ever days on the bike. So, um, uh, yeah, good sign for things to come and, uh, and I think hopefully there's a few more opportunities in the next few days. So uh, stay tuned.